Hello everybody! You excited for the new season to start? Well, today we've got the update installed even though the season hasn't started yet. They always release that early, so you know what that means. It's lucky board time with the free rewards. We are getting an epic CX-9 feathered. That's the first free epic camo for the CX-9, so let's buy it. How about that? It's kind of look like leaves, but yeah, I guess they're feathers. And I'm going to go ahead and throw this on. I just finished recording my Royal Crimson video a few days ago on this loadout. And I noticed that this actually got a nerf. You look at the recoil on here. It's got more horizontal recoil again. So I wonder if that was a mistake last season. But anyway, the PDW 57 might not be as good as it was. Um... On the other hand, if you go over to the CX-9 here, it's got a buff. It's actually got a few buffs here. So you can see the bullet speeds, movement speeds, print speed, aiming movement speed. So this barrel doesn't, um, it increases your bullet speed now. This one also increases your bullet speed. And then the magazines, uh, this one doesn't decrease your movement speed at all. And this one decreases it less than it used to. So that's exciting. We get to try that out today. I'm actually, let's actually use, this is the same gunsmith that I used last time I did the CX-9 video. I'll sync that onto here. So we're going to use the same attachments because we'll see if the bullet speed makes a difference and the movement speed makes a difference. So these are what the stats come down to. Lots of bullet spread. Um, and now we should get, yeah, the plus 25% bullet speed. Once again, we'll look at this. Feathers, looks like there's some lights in the background. Maybe it's supposed to be like a stage. You're on a stage and somebody's wearing feathers on their dress or something, but let's go inspect this. So I'm not really surprised here, no custom iron sight. We never get those on the lucky board uh, free epic camos, but we do get animations and that's fun. You get those feathers on there. I think this actually looks pretty cool. Um, it's like the red and black. Nice color contrast with some of that yellow in there. So this will be our recoil pattern that we're dealing with here and we got built-in suppression that bullet speed we've got decent movement speed now so i'm excited about this i'm optimistic so let's go try okay this should be interesting this is a fairly long range map and i've got a fast firing mostly short range weapon oh there is a sniper over there keep moving all right else no oh there's this <sighs> I figured if he hadn't seen me by now he wasn't gonna see me at all but I was Enemy wrong contact. oh hello ah he's behind some cover kilo one for one is clearly gonna do better at that range than the CX-9 okay I thought I heard gunfire and this is since this is a front line I'm gonna play this a little bit more cautious. I saw somebody up there, took him out. That was a long shot, but I was doing 19s and 20s, so that's pretty good. Better than I was expecting. Somebody looks like they're over here. Yeah. Oh, nope. Time to go back and hide while we reload. I'm gonna check the other door here. Okay, wide out in the open. That's how I like to catch him. Oh. Ah. Uh, I realized just as I started to fire that that was probably not going to be worth it. There's no way it can be accurate enough with this recoil and this bullet spread with the CX-9 to hit Don't just that enemy. guy's head. So we're trying to dodge the sniper right now. He's missing me. Oh, we might have caught him on a reload. He's pistoling now. Oh, good thing I had a lot of ammo. Couldn't quite see him around the trees and bushes, so I was sort of guessing where he was going to be. But rather than hang out there where people are invincible after they spawn, I'm going to go up here. I hear people. I think there's another sniper over there. Oh, that's always a good spot for a trip on him. You over there? No. Okay, check the other side, hop up here. Nobody. Okay. I don't really want to move though, like I don't want to go up any farther really. 
And this is a good spot to be, I think. Hello. Oh, maybe not. If they're spawning invincible. Oh, I did not mean to jump off there, but thankfully we got the kill. Oh, I'm gonna go back up. Come on. Oh, there's a guy there. Can we get him? Oh man, that was ugly. It's that recoil and bullet spread. I was only doing 11s there, I think I saw. Respawning there. Can't kill him, so maybe I can head him off if I go back up. He comes around this way. Somebody's down there. Oh, there's a sniper up there. So let's see if I can see him this way. Yes, let's take him out. Oh, come on, recoil. Nope. Let's do another try here. What? Oh, it's halftime. You know, sometimes you have to know when to give up. And I mean, give up the gunfight. But six and three is a good start. But that last one there, I only had like three bullets left. There was no way I was going to get that kill. So I needed to take cover and hide before he saw me and retaliated. And you also have to know if there's even a chance of winning the gunfight before you start it. Oh, come on. That's how bad I am with this gun. And he just sent out his dog, too. Same idea. I'll take out his dog. And since I reinstalled the game, it really, really wants me to use that score streak. My teammates got him, I think. Sentry gun. There's a guy. They're all in this house here, so I'm going to slide up. Maybe they'll run through. Did he even trigger my trip mine? Alright, double kill there. And now we got the counter UAV. Okay, maybe I can... Oh, there's a guy there. I was going to say, maybe I can take out the sentry gun. How did I not get that? That was horrible. I could have had so many kills there if I was accurate. So, I guess it's kind of hard... What are you doing here? It's kind of hard for me to tell... If the bullet speed makes a difference, because I can't hit my shots. Um, I'm sure it does, if you were super accurate, but honestly, there's so much recoil on this gun that I don't know that it's really making a difference. Oh, he just hopped right over me. I was waiting for him to come around the corner. I didn't even realize you could hop that. Anyway, let's see if this will give us a free kill. Yep. Can't even see how inaccurate I am there, but that's about the range that you should play with this. Um, this is probably a bad idea, but we'll try it. Yeah, that wasn't. Yeah, Grau is much better at that range. And we're still losing, but not by as much. Okay, can we get this guy? Wait to see if he peeks out. There he is. Oh, I even got a headshot and only did 15. Look at that. I'm way out of my range on this map. Okay, I think he's over there. We're just going to fire and turn the corner. God, what was, is he aiming at the sky? I don't even have a UAV. I wonder what he was looking for. So, put that up in case someone comes through. I might be able to hide here and get a few kills. Get down, oh, what? We're losing this fight. Is he... Seriously? He was just sitting there the whole time. Be advised, hostile sentry got spotted. Okay. That was kind of embarrassing, I guess. But we'll avoid the sentry gun. Yeah, we're really going to lose this. But I feel like I'm still doing okay, though. I've been getting some mid-range kills, which I wasn't expecting. That's going to be the game. We lost. Alright, well, I was the MVP of the losing team. That's not the worst, but 12 and 6 is actually really good. I had a big impact. That was a lot better than I felt like I was doing. Um, but, as for the CX-9, like I said, I can't say I can tell anything about the uh, bullet speed, but I do like this feathered camo. That's one of my favorite free ones from the Lucky board. I really like that, so I recommend you get it. Thanks for watching.